Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Takiya Komi, your South Florida realtor and entrepreneur. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. So this is a digital series that I've been doing for digital products. If you are new, just make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell so you can see any videos that I post, you'll be the first one to know about it. So today I decided that I wanted to do a video about how to market your digital products. Of course, that's why you're here. You purchased something from someone else, which was a digital product that they said that you can resell, but the big problem is you don't know how to sell it. You were caught on their pitch on how they made all of this money or how they found financial freedom. And it sounded good because it tapped into what your basic need is or why you wanted to start selling digital products, which is totally fine because I was once that girl. And I just wanted to come and help a lot of you understand how you can market your products and how you can make this amount of money that everyone is claiming to make. I know there's a different number. This is a disclaimer. Everybody is not gonna make the same amount of money when selling digital products, but you can make how much you want, but it's all up to how much effort you put into it. So I always like to say that don't base it off of what someone else is doing and also, this is not a product where you could just purchase, put it on your website or put it on your Etsy account and then pray that it's going to sell. You do have to put in the effort. So let's jump right into it. So there's many, many different digital products that you can sell. However, what this video is going to pertain to is something that anybody can use no matter what digital product that you are selling. So boom, you purchase your digital product, you put it on your website, now you're ready to get it rolling. Now, this can be a different result for different people because some people are starting their channels completely over if they want to take the faceless marketing route or some people are just taking their businesses that they already had, either their business account or their regular account, and they are using that platform to promote their product. So either one that you decide to do, it could work for any one of you. Just remember, if you're starting over your uh, if you're starting new from scratch, it may take a little bit longer for you to get to where you want to be, but patience is key and consistency is also key. You have to keep promoting yourself, promoting your brand and putting yourself out there before you get that first yes. Now, one of the ones that you hear a lot of people say how you can promote your marketing product, I mean, how you can market your digital products is by going live. Now, this may not work for everybody because I know on certain platforms like TikTok, you have to have a certain amount of followers before you're able to go live. But then the other thing is, maybe you're not a person who likes to sit there and talk in front of a camera to strangers that you do not know at all. But if you're okay with promoting yourself and just talking to people and just sitting on live, this is an excellent way to market your digital product because now this person can see you live in effect. They know that you're not a robot. They know that you're not a scammer. Well, I don't know if you're a scammer, but you'll be on live talking to them so they can get the real you, the real personality. But outside of your personality, you want to promote, it's very important that you are telling them what is inside your digital product. And that is how I see it's working for a lot of people. They're either telling them, okay, this is what you're going to get. And they're showing them the physical product, just as if I was selling this lip gloss. And I say, hey, check out my lip gloss. This is what my lip gloss looks like. And I take it and I put it on my wrist. This is the color of my lip gloss that you'll see on my skin complexion. The benefits of this lip gloss is your lips will stay shiny all day for 24 hours and it can easily come off tell them what they're buying they want to know what they're getting so that's the whole purpose of you going live because now you're promoting just think of it like qvc when they used to have those shows back in the day and another frame of tiktok how everyone is selling something on tiktok but they do it better when it's live because now the person knows that you're live in effect and this is something that you're actually promoting but i want to say the second part of that is and number two a way to market your product is tell them why they need to buy it so if you think about it, when you purchase your digital product, I don't know who you got it from. You could have got it from me, you could have got it from somebody else, which is totally fine. But what was the reason that made you wanna buy that digital product? So now you need to tell yourself, okay, well, why did I buy this? What was that storyline? What was that, that, that marketing tactic that they did that made you wanna buy this product? So these are some of the reasons why somebody would wanna buy a digital product. And this is what I'm seeing all over TikTok or all over Instagram. 
they need financial freedom. Uh, either they want to quit their nine to five or they may be a stay at home single mother who wants to make some type of income, but still be able to be available for their children. And I know cause I'm a mom. So of course for me, I don't want to, I didn't want to go back and work a nine to five. I used to work in retail. The last place I was at, I worked there for 10 years. So that could have been one of my storylines. I didn't want to go back and get a second job or get another job working in retail, working at anybody's job for that matter. So boom. That may be your target audience. You may be a single mother. That may be a target audience. Stay at home mom, need to make extra income to support the family or you wanna just do something, have something to do. Maybe they're bored. That's another another tactic. Also, um, like the, the one that I'm seeing a lot that I feel like a lot of girls are gravitating towards is that lifestyle. They want to live that lifestyle. If you look at Bougie Barbie and I say her name all the time, I'm sorry if I, I don't know if I can or not, but I love her. She sells you that life. When you look at her page, she has the car, she's shopping, she's going on trips. She has the pit house with the windows and the view, wherever she is. I know with Miami, that's gonna be expensive, but she is giving you that lifestyle. She is promoting that lifestyle. So that's something that you wanna see. Now that may not work for everybody, that aesthetically pleasing lifestyle, because everybody may not live like that. Now, if I live in a house and I don't even have a pool or a backyard or something that, that makes you wanna just say, oh yeah, I wanna be like her, then it's not gonna work for me. So now you have to find another outlet. But a lot of them are selling lifestyle. If you notice that, that is what's gravitating. So she, Bougie Barbie, I don't know exactly how old she is, but let's say if she's a young in her 20s, I'm in my thirties, she's in her twenties. So for all of the young girls who are seeing that, she doesn't work, she's making all this money, she has this lifestyle, she's buying the cars, the clothes, the shoes, the bags, the jewelry. That's what people wanna see. They wanna be that girl. They wanna be the it girl. So that's working for her. Moral of the story, find your why. Find your why and tell your story. So that way, maybe somebody might feel more comfortable being that you have a testimony of how it worked for you, what you're selling, how it can work for them, and then they may feel more appealing to purchase your product. So that is one of the things, find your why. Now, find the platform that works best for you. I kind of juggle between all of the, <laughs> the social media platforms. I have an Instagram, I have a TikTok, I have a um, YouTube, I've tried Pinterest. All of these outlets do work when it comes to selling a product. For me, what I see with, in well, the difference between Instagram and TikTok. Now, in the beginning, it may be harder to grow your TikTok, but once you start elevating and you post a video almost every single day, maybe even post three videos a day, you have to stay in their face. TikTok has to see you always using their platform and you never know what video is gonna take off and go viral. Now, once that video starts moving and you start getting a lot of traction from it, it's very important that you continue to push out content. You don't wanna get a video that's booming and the comments are coming in, the engagement is coming in. You wanna make sure that you continue to put content because now they're gonna see, okay, well, she's coming with it. This person is really pushing out their content, so they're gonna keep giving them stuff because that one video is doing so well. They're gonna continue pushing out your other videos to see what else will the audience gravitate towards. When I speak about engagement, you want to make sure that you're commenting on everybody's uh, comment, every single person's comment that's commenting on your video. You want to make sure that you're returning the comment back and not just with some emojis. You want to actually engage, write some paragraphs. Thank you for watching my video. I have some more stuff or if you need any more details, I can teach you how to do the same or comment below like what are some things you want to learn try to engage where that they're answering questions back and forth with that one comment you don't want to just put some like an open-ended comment of an emoji or a thanks or i know or nothing basic you want to actually write some stuff in there because with the comments as more people comment as more people like they're also going to push your video out for more engagement I feel like TikTok is a better way to go. I don't know if anything has changed. I know a lot of people are scared because of the whole, they're gonna ban TikTok in the United States. However, I feel like TikTok is more of an organic way to gain followers. They gravitate towards you more. You don't have to get on there with your makeup and your hair done all the time. It's not an aesthetically a pleasing app. You can be yourself on TikTok and 
people will naturally gravitate towards you because of your personality and how you make them feel. Versus Instagram, I feel like it's a whole look of, oh, it's pretty and all of these things. You can't really just jump on a video and start talking on Instagram. It doesn't make sense. You can only do that on TikTok. And you could be in your car, you could be in your bed. One lady was laying down in her bed saying a video and it, it, it went viral. So find what social media platform works for you. I have Instagram. I've been trying to grow this my my personal Instagram for over the past. I just hit 5,000 um, followers, and it's very hard to grow on Instagram unless you like hit a million views on one video. But TikTok, I have grown about two accounts in the 20,000s on both, and it could have gotten further if I would have kept going. But I was trying to really push on instagram and just keep in mind you can also repurpose all of your content across all platforms just make sure you remove the watermark in order to remove the watermark you can use a website called snip insta um snap insta s-n-a-p-i-n-s-t-a if you need to remove the watermark from instagram snap tick if you need to remove it from tiktok and this is how you're going to repurpose all of those videos or there's an app called uh repost all you're trying to do is remove the watermark from your videos and put it on each platform. These videos that you take from Instagram, you take from TikTok, you can also put them on YouTube. YouTube is a quick growing sensation right now and they're trying to grow their shorts. So this is another way for you to promote your videos. But I honestly feel like reels are the way to go. It's free and it's the biggest way that you can get the um, attraction from any audience who are not already following you right now versus a regular post. So please make sure you're using, find a platform that works for you and put those videos out. Record those reels. Even if you're walking, do a walking video and you put words on it every single morning, put that on there. Put the video out and just put a trending sound. Always use trending sounds and try to find videos that are less than 5,000 uh, people using that reel. Don't use the ones that are high up or that are very active. Try to use anything less than 5,000 on your reels when it comes to trending sounds. That's very important. Don't post a video without a trending sound. I always use a trending sound no matter what. Unless the rules change, of course, because they're always changing. Find a social media platform that works for you that is going to get you out there because it's free. It is free. That's the best part about it. It is free until they change it for anything. Even if they change it, go to another platform. But it is free. Take advantage of that. It is free. You can get in front of anybody who doesn't know you already. It is free. If I say that one more time, it is free. So, and also if you don't know what kind of content to post, copy what everybody else is doing. At the end of the day, everybody else is copying each other. Yeah, you could put out a unique video every now and then, but copy what they're doing. If you see a cool caption that they wrote, okay, use that caption and put it on one of your videos and just do a B-roll. Right now, what's popular is putting out reels that are about four to eight seconds long because and then you're going to put font on the video you want them to sit there and read the video and take forever to read the video but you want the video to keep rolling while they're reading another way with the b-roll is they're making these long captions with everything that you're selling put the caption in there about what you're selling why it works why it's good put your hashtags put a freebie in there that's another thing i want to talk about but make your captions long so that while they're while your video is rolling, instead of them pushing pause or going to the next one, they're reading your caption. So now you're circulating views because they keep playing the video over and over. So maybe try to do reels that are four to eight seconds long. You can mix it up. You don't have to keep that same format, but that's another way to do it. Ads are another way. I haven't really ran an ad on my videos yet. Um, you could run ads. I've just recently purchased the melanin reels that were done for you. It was $27. I actually saw that ad on Facebook and that caught my attention because I'm like, oh wait, there's a lot of people who don't know how to make reels. So hint, hint, that will be in my description below, but there's a lot of girls who don't know how to make the videos. So now they're giving you content that's already made for you that you can sell and make money off of that. So I now sell the Melanin Reels. I found that from a Facebook ad. The first product, I got that from a girl on live. So all of these things that I'm telling you, I'm not telling you just to tell you. And I'm not selling you anything. I'm trying to help. And I'm telling you how I found the people who I found was from a live. And I've been working with her for the longest. Like she's excellent. The Melanin Reels, I found that from an ad, a Facebook ad. So if you have the money to play around with ads, scare money don't make no money. So right now you don't have to make a flyer. You don't have to buy a product. You don't have to pay for shipping. So if all you got to do is run an ad, 
learn how to run the ads and just run ads and then that can attract your people even more versus you just doing the reels if you have a reel that did very very well run an ad boost the ad I mean, boost the video so that now you can attract more people because it was a good video, obviously, because people are watching it. So boost the ad. So yeah. Other than that, real quick before this video is over, I wanted to tap into DBA. So a lot of you are buying these products and I don't know what kind of digital product you purchased and why you're watching this video, but I do have a digital product that I purchased. So far, I've been selling a whole ton of them. Um, I made almost over $10,000 because of this kit. The reason why I love DBA is because it is a course. So it's a digital product, but then it's kind of like a school. It's a school for digital products. So for all of you who don't know how to market, you edit videos, you have a TikTok, you don't know how to use Instagram. This course will teach you everything you need to know. So you kind of got to pay attention to the digital products that you are buying. Sometimes we get hyped up on what they're saying, but do you really know what you're buying? So you got to pay attention to that too. That's what I want to say. Because I purchased one from somebody one time. It was $25 and it was supposed to be a challenge and I, uh, for digital products. And she was saying some really good stuff. So that's what grabbed me in. But after I brought it, it was a waste of my money because I didn't know what it was. I didn't know how to use it. Make sure you understand what you're buying. And I know a lot of you are new to this. You are not tech savvy. You don't know how to use Canva. May also find a coach who was willing to give you that time and help you. A lot of people are selling things that they don't even know what they're selling and they're not gonna answer the phone. Not to say that it's a scam, but they may not even know how to offer that customer service or that guidance or that support because they don't know how to use the product. Find something where they teach you. So with DBA, the best part about this, the best part is the PLR, PLR Vault. So even though you're buying this one digital product in this PLR Vault, they have a bundle of 300 plus planners that you can resell. They have the melanin videos that are already made for you. And I believe it's like 800 of them, not 450, but 800. They also have other digital products that you can sell that uh, you can either sell them together or separately. You can sell them a digital product on how to edit videos. You can sell them a digital product about Canva. You can sell a, a digital product about how to elevate off of your content and make money. Also have stories that you can post to promote your product. They have reels that you can post to promote your product. This is an actual community that is helping you, helping you sell these digital products. So the best part about it is you can learn from it, but not only just learning from it, you can also sell it back to someone else after you learn. I hope this video was helpful. I just wanted to talk about different ways on how you can market your products because a lot of people don't know. Um, everybody has something that works for them, but Find something that works for you, but you have to do the work. This is not something that you can just buy and think that it's going to just sell magically because you're a pretty young woman and everybody trusts you. You have to put it out there, promote yourself, promote your product because now you are an entrepreneur. You are not just somebody who's trying to make that 5,000 like how they're saying. You have to promote your brand. You have to be the brand. You have to sell your product. But if you're buying something, understand what you're selling first if they're offering these courses look at the courses first before you say okay well i don't know what i'm doing look at what you're selling first and understand what you're selling and understand how you're going to reach your target audience and how you're going to promote it to your target audience to help you but other than that i think i covered all of the ways to market there's really not no rocket science um pinterest i know is another good way that a lot of people say i have not tried that yet but i have sold some accessories on pinterest i was selling women's accessories so i know that it works i wouldn't doubt it i wouldn't knock it because i know that it works i just haven't successfully been able to post on there like that because it's a different kind of platform it's not like you're regular instagram and TikTok. it's more like you're putting you can put your reels on there so that's perfect but it's a different beast but i've seen a lot of women say that they make a lot of money from pinterest so like i said find that social media uh platform that works for you and then take it from there but other than that i hope this video was helpful i try to give you guys a lot of helpful tips don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell i hope this answers your questions you guys have a good one stay safe peace